morning everyone how you going I'm gonna do a bit of a walk around the farm today because um i've had a medium to heavy frost and everything's frozen going outside after a heavy frost or a medium frost or any frost really is a really good thing to do because you can see things like if you look you can see where the coldest parts of the garden is usually where the sun comes up later and you can see where you know there's overcast of shadow for example where um, when we have a heavy frost our water tanks behind us here cast a shadow on the grass and the frost doesn't um, melt until like 12 o'clock I've noticed that in the previous years and this spot here of this side of the house you can see if I in here All this grass here, near these agapanthers, they don't, it never gets frost in this section, but directly on the other side of the agapanthers, the frost starts. And I think it's because of these trees. Also, the house is probably emitting heat from the wood fire, I reckon. Don't mind my glove, I just need this finger for pushing the GoPro. <laughs> and it's very cold, it's, um, well, it's about minus one right now. And you can see over here, this is where the frost starts. You probably can't see it on the camera, but underneath that big willow tree over there, um, there's no frost. Rightio, well the sun's starting to come out now, so everything is starting to melt off, but I just wanted to show you this area a little bit more. Yeah, so these um, globe artichokes, I put them here for this exact purpose. Um, and it's nice to see that it's working because they don't like a frost. Heavy frosts. They'll take light frost, but heavy frost they don't like, and we do get heavy frosts. Uh, we had one not that long ago, and it didn't seem to phase them, and there's a couple reasons why. So one of the main reasons why is here we have the house we so the sun is on this part of the house in the afternoon in winter time so it helps to warm up all these bricks in this part of the house a bit and also this part of the garden gets um, sun in the winter afternoon which is really important so that's one reason the other reason is on the other side of me here we have a windbreak so there's a windbreak here and on the other side of that there's a really large um, deciduous tree and then next to this area, we also have a little cubby house um, that helps with the frost as well. And around this part of the garden, there's some more trees. This like also this. helps with the frost and the cold falling in this way. This is like a little warm pocket, little heat pocket uh, at the end of the day in winter. So that was part of the idea of planting the globe artichokes here. And it's really good to see them that they're still thriving because then that means Come springtime when they start shooting up those bulbs, we'll get the uh, globe artichokes a lot earlier than what we normally would because it's in this space. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you that really good example here um, so everyone understands why you should go walking around when there's frost so you can really see those warm and hot pockets and, and where it doesn't get much sun. Hope that helps some people that live in frost zones, particularly in Tasmania or other parts of Victoria. And that. All right, see ya. We're on to our last ones of them now. If you saw the coal rub video. Oh, that's a nice one. I think I'll harvest that for me breakfast, actually. <laughs>